Hi, this is another video for the Commandothon, and this is number 1770, hot sand, cold courage, and uh, thus far that's the best title I've come across in the Commando comics. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> the war in the western desert <clears throat> was a game of cat and mouse, with each side desperately trying to find out what the other was planning. When the Germans seemed to be gaining the upper hand, it was up to the British intelligence and a very cunning Arab agent to set the balance right. <clears throat> so, uh, it does in part deal with the uh, Africa Corps. And um, the figures for this, <laughs> they're so small. <laughs> I mean, I do like, <clears throat> I don't know if the camera can pick up, I do um, generally like kits to be small, but that's a bit too small. I remember back in the day, <laughs> they're about that size, they were two times size of that but um when I mean, these have still to be finished off i've still to add flesh and add uh some details but um <clears throat> went quite well um i also have a book on the africa corpse uh that which i haven't read yet um i know shockingly little um, about the history um, other than the famous names of Rommel and Field Marshal Montgomery but um, other than that I know uh, very little I've yet to read this only bought it recently for 50p but I'll get to it at some point <coughs> and um, I believe this story takes place in Libya and despite the um, front cover it's more espionage than it is action so in the uh, in in, a, in leaf in leaf bit not sure what you call it but we're still sticking with the soccer stars <coughs> and um, according to um, Wikipedia, this guy, Ralph Milne, is a bit of a sad story, really. He's a Scottish footballer who never really um, found his stride, as it were. And uh, on the back, we have Chris Hutton. And... Um, I actually recognize him as a manager. He um, used to manage uh, Brighton and Hove. Uh, until I think it was the last year. But uh, as of this recording, I think he's currently a free agent. So our, our story um, <clears throat> sort of between both the British and the Arab and the Arabs, the native peoples of North Africa, their um, informants, but their informants for both sides, some for the Germans, some for the British. And um, <clears throat> we have this, um, character Ron who's rather sort of heavy handed and we have his um commanding officer um Dick who's the one with the mustache sort of put me in mind of David Nevin I think just because of the mustache and um 
We also have the British informant Farouk, and he also has a, and maybe it's a bit cliche, but he has the identical uh, twin brother named uh, what was his name? Um, I might have forgotten his name. Uh, Yusuf, that was it. Yusuf. <clears throat> Who's an informant for the Germans. And um, we have the uh, German named Bueller. And. Um, <clears throat> As I said, these two are um, brothers that are they're working on the opposite sides. And um, there is a uh, switcheroo type thing. And um, the uh, British character Ron is um, captured sort of along the lines of the uh, previous commando um, and uh, because the two are, are <clears throat> identical the full the German Bueller but he catches on to them and uh, Farouk is in turn captured. I also got to say the um, the art and the drawing for this one I think is a lot sharper than some of the previous commandos. <laughs> the faces are quite well done. And by the end of it, <clears throat> uh, Oak is rescued and um, makes peace with Ron. And that's the ending. Um, I would give Hot Sand Cold Courage, a 7 out of 10. Pretty good story. And next we have Operation Soul, number 1771. And um, <clears throat> this, the, the character, kind of looks like, to me, looks like a certain someone. And I will re reveal who in the next commando thon that will be Operation Solo. So uh, thanks for watching. Bye.